Hello, everybody. This is Steve Brzee, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as the MoviePix.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are, finally, in our eighth and final session of our eight-part basic training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. We've got a finished movie, and it's time to output our movie. And as you might expect, as with many tools in Vegas, there's a simplified way to do it, and there's a more professional way to do it. They each have their advantages. There's no wrong way to do it. To simply output your movie, all you need to do is click the Make Movie button here at the top of the interface. That will walk you through the process of making your movie, whether you decide to upload it directly to a social media site, whether you decide to save it to your hard drive, in which case you have a number of options here for saving it as a particular media file. Or you can even output it back to your camcorder or portable device. That's kind of iffy. Don't worry so much about that because your camcorder needs to have certain features on it to allow you to do that. But if you decide to burn it to a DVD or Blu-ray disc, the program will automatically build the files for creating this DVD or Blu-ray disc. If you choose the options with menus and you have DVD Architect on your computer, the program will prep the files and send them over to DVD Architect, where you can author your disc you can create your menu system as complicated as you want i love dvd architect uh, in fact there's a whole tutorial series and a whole book on it as well we're checking out now that's the simplified way to do it that's the way where the program kind of walks you through the process there are a number of great options available also if you go to the project menu and select render as you can also get to this screen by going through the Make Movie options. And here you can see all of the options for outputting your video as a video file or an audio file. And there are some great options here, including options for creating a 3D Blu-ray disc, for instance, or to create a 3D video that you can upload to YouTube. There are options here if you are editing a 360 movie. That's a movie that completely surrounds the viewer. There's support here, not just for standard H.264 MP4s, but also for creating HEVC, as are high efficiency H.265 MP4s. There are also options here for creating video for Windows, Real Media, and even WMA and WMV. Those are Windows Media Video Files. Lots of great options in here. We explore them all and explain when you would use each one in our books and this is pretty much any kind of output short of QuickTime that you could possibly need. Now MP4 standard AVC MP4s are kind of the universal language for video right now and you can output them all the way up to 1920 by 1080. If you choose the Sony XAVC options, you can even create 4K videos. Very nice. And if it's all too complicated for you, you can just use the Make Movie options. The program makes it simple for you. Now, if you want to know everything about this program, what this all means, and what's behind the steps we've showed you in simple basic training tutorials, you'll want to check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about this program, every single feature, every single tool explained step by step, check out the moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as the moviepix.com guide to DVD Architect. They're available at amazon.com, and I hope I haven't seen the last of you. This is Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me for all eight parts. I hope to see you again real soon.